Greetings, military community. Today, Army TV will introduce you to Reconnaissance and Strike Ground Robotic Complex, Droid TW 12.7. Here I've got my red sight and this is my green range finding grid. What kind of missions was this drone designed for? First and foremost, for providing fire support to units and for reconnaissance missions, meaning we can deploy it to scout and if necessary to strike. Its current operational range is 22 kilometers. The maximum speed of the system is 7 kilometers per hour. That applies both to hard surfaces such as asphalt and to off-road terrain. It has a pretty interesting ballistic calculator, right? Yeah, a ballistic computer or calculator. It helps us hit targets. Uh, for example, we know that the target is about 800 meters away. We set 800 meters on the ballistic calculator. The sight on the tablet screen automatically adjusts downward and we aim directly at the target. Before operating it, calibration is required, correct? Calibration and zeroing, yes, absolutely. First, we align the sighting module with the barrel channel of the machine gun itself. After that, we begin live zeroing at 100 meters. Then we can move to the range and carry out the calibration. Let's go! Now we'll see how the 12.7 Browning M2 tears apart this Herson watermelon of ours. All right, align the sight, but set the ballistics to 100. Yes, let's go. Aiming now, and we'll see how accurately the combat module fires after calibration. Safety off. Fire. Good. As we can see, the calibration was successful. No extra adjustment was needed. The very first burst destroyed our Herson friend. Explosive taste indeed. The module includes three cameras, a narrow angle, a wide angle daytime camera, and a thermal imager, both horizontally and vertically. The cradle with the dampener, along with the weapon and working module, are operated by two linear actuators. These allow the combat module to aim along both axes. The system is designed for the Browning M2 and its various modifications. Currently, it is equipped with a Canik QCB-M2. How much ammunition can it carry? The feeding system, which includes this box and the tail unit, it detaches easily and holds 400 rounds, plus 20 rounds already loaded into the belt. So in total about 420, roughly 400 rounds. I've read that this combat module uses artificial intelligence to assist with aiming. Can you explain how it helps? Yes, this combat module uses artificial intelligence to recognize targets, including personnel, to aim at them to assist with this process, and also to lock on to targets. In other words, it serves as a reliable assistant in the hands of the operator, 
making it easier first to track targets, second to maneuver, and third to strike those targets. So the targets can be both personnel and equipment. For detection, it can identify personnel, vehicles, and essentially anything moving within its designated sector. Today, the system is being tested at the range by the special unit of the H-U-R-M-O-U Revenge. Unlock, lock, press the left key up and L2 simultaneously. That's it. Oh, perfect. Fire. That's a single shot. We use drones for logistics, for engineering tasks. We also have several combat drones with smaller calibers and different configurations. Right now, we're trying to employ them more widely because, as they say, war is constantly evolving. Every six months, something changes, and we must always be one step ahead of the enemy, anticipating them. Does your unit only require ground robotic systems? Or are you also looking for specialists? Specialists, yes. Any innovative technology requires innovative solutions and innovative people. We are conducting ongoing recruitment.